installing the RV outlet. Isn't that right, buddy? <laughs> it's a cold morning in Texas. I got my snowsuit on. Can't handle the cold. Anyway, let's jump into it. The materials that I used for this build were an AFCI breaker, a 30 amp power outlet box, and this power whip assembly. You'll want to decide where you're going to install this. We decided to do it right by the breaker, and so we only needed six feet of cord. If you need something longer, you'll have to buy more. We were wanting to do this project though because we had some friends to park their RV on our property. We have an acre that we live on, and a lot of it we don't really use, which is kind of funny. We just let our dogs and sun run around. But anyways, they're gonna park it over on the side of this house for a short term period. And our neighborhood's not weird about that stuff. So that's good and we get to get some rent and help them out because the prices of RV spots around town in Austin are supposedly really high. So we're gonna start this outlet for them and hopefully not burn the house down. I'm not a professional electrician, so make sure you watch the video to make sure I do it right and then you can follow if you want. The first thing to do here is to open up the box. There's two tiny little screws, so make sure you don't lose them. Inside we have three cords. They're all labeled perfectly. But then we want to drill a hole in this box. Now, this was a pain, and so I had to buy a one and one eighth inch hole saw, and that worked like magic. After a little while, of course, because the drill Whoa, got lightheaded. That drill is awful, I need a new one. It's my wife's one from, I don't know, college or something that her dad gave her. That's like, came in one of those packs that's like $50. Oh, just so bad. The battery's falling out. I mean, the con let me know in the comments which one I should get. The package that came with the conduit came with these two connectors. One that goes on this silver box and one that goes on the big electrical panel. These are really easy and waterproof. You just screw them in like you screw anything else in. And I decided to split the wires before putting it in the box and having a harder time. Hey buddy. The next step here is to connect the three wires to this box. Here you can see three connectors. And so, so I take the conduit, put it into the bottom of the hole, and then I start connecting the wires. You can see a better picture here in a second, but red goes to power, black goes to negative, and green goes to ground. And there's already a green cable in there so that both of them would be connected to the ground. And then I'm deciding where I'm putting the box here. I'm gonna put it next to the window, pretty close to the electrical box. This was pretty easy. It just one screw into the wall and then two to tighten it oh. to the wall. Here we go. This has been a great helper today. Are you a good helper? Uh. Yeah, you got the snacks on deck. And then we got the wires. So red is going to power, black is white, green is green. And then green is up there, connected to ground. Uh. Oh yeah. Need some baby screws, buddy. I just been down to tie my shoes and I found the two screws that are supposed to go into the, into that. Ha <laughs> ha. Praise the Lord. Check. Now for the more dangerous part. I've never actually done anything on an electrical panel before. I'm not an electrician, so if you're watching this, be careful. Make sure you don't hit the live nuts on the electrical panel. Um, they are always on, even if you turn your electrical panel off. So turn it off, but still don't hit the nuts that come from, you know, the electricity on the street or wherever you're at, because um, they will kill you. So let's not kill ourselves and get this panel set up. Here's my electrical box, and the first thing to do is to knock a hole out. I thought this hole would be as hard as the other one, but they actually had the little things where you poke out and so it was much easier to do. And then you're gonna to wanna to thread the wire through the hole and get that connector piece with the thread on there so you can tighten it up. Ah, uh, my back. I'm then gonna tape a couple of these U braces and put it against the house so that the wire's not flailing about. Don't hate on me for not cutting it. 
I might cut it later. All right, these two nuts here, here, and here are what you don't want to touch. Sorry I'm being repetitive here, but it's worth repeating a million times. Don't touch the two nuts on the top. Don't touch the nuts. Here's the new circuit breaker, and just a note, you want the 30 amp, not the 215s, the 30 amp. So get the right one, and then you're going to connect the power to the positive and the negative to the negative. And then you just simply slide it into the slot and push it in, make sure it's in there nice and cozy. You're then going to take the ground wire and put it on the neutral bus. The buses are the same on the both sides. So you put the ground on the bus. And then I had to put the neutral over on the right side because there were no more screws to fit it in. Alrighty, we got every. Ah! Alrighty, we got everything connected, and so now it's the power. Hoping nothing sparks. So, wish me luck. So, if you want to test this breaker, which it has a little test button on it, you turn it on press the test button and if it pops to center then it's working correctly which is exactly what just happened I'll show you again No explosions. The RV has been hooked up for a week or two, and we just had the coldest weather in Texas. It was freezing, water was frozen on the ground. We got a ton of rain, but we survived. So I can say that the electricity is all hooked and good, no problems with that at all. So you can follow the instructions and be confident in them. Well, that about sums up this video. I hope the instructions were clear enough so that you can set up your own 30 volt RV outlet at your house and do it safely. Remember, don't touch the nuts. And leave me a comment if you have any questions or concerns, I'd love to hear them. Anyway, I appreciate you all for watching and stopping by, hit that subscribe if you will. And I recently just built this outdoor coffee table slash bench if you want to use it as a bench but pretty easy build you can do it in 30 minutes so go check out that video and i will see y'all over there and out there see you later hey no where are you going going to dinner in the movies no without you <laughs> did you see my belly <laughs> my belly this is our son all right see ya okay bye <laughs> uh okay bye <laughs> Make sure you subscribe. Maybe it's love.